Okay, uh, super excited to bring you a new project I've been working on. It's called Vote UBI. The website address is vote.us.openubiproject.org. You'll see the link below. Uh, on this site, you'll see that there's a member pledge for all UBI caucus members saying that they're planning on taking action in 2021 after the election uh, to uh, bring universal basic income to the citizens of the United States of America. So with this pledge, uh, you'll be able to see and interact with candidates. So down below, you'll see uh, you can look up candidates. Uh, the I currently just have it set uh, to Montana. You can see presidential candidates. You can see House candidates. This data was just refreshed with the FEC uh, export uh, earlier uh, this week, just a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm going to look at the Senate here. From the Senate, you can see uh, this is an individual who has not taken our survey, so their values aren't represented. Um, and so one of the things that you can do is click on the link and you'll automatically be opened uh, to a Twitter uh, URL with your Twitter account logged in. This is a templated uh, tweet that you can send out to this individual who's running for a 2020 uh, position uh, as a candidate asking them to fill out the survey and provide their input for all voters. Uh, once you hit tweet, I'm not gonna do it because I already I just did it. Um, you'll see a tweet. This is the actual tweet that gets sent. So you can see it says, please take less than a minute uh, and go ahead and fill out this survey. Uh, thank you, uh, UBI Caucus. Uh, it has the pledge down below here. So if you click on uh, the, the link, uh, you'll actually see the form that they can submit uh, and the pledge that they can take. Uh, and then we actually, uh, on the UBI Caucus team and the Vote uh, UBI site, will update a spreadsheet that then uh, gets refreshed nightly so their uh, responses will then show up here in the interface to educate voters. Uh, so you can see uh, this is how it looks when individuals uh, have filled out the survey. So as a voter, as an educated voter, you can make quick decisions about who supports UBI and who doesn't. Uh, and we hope that this is helpful. It really would be helpful if everybody made a shout out to Andrew Yang. Uh, who has not filled out the survey yet uh, and uh, let him know that we're anxiously awaiting his approval to set the UBI caucus member and join the UBI caucus. Hope you find this uh, educational. Look forward to seeing the comments below. Uh, thanks and have a great day.